This is going to be our third attempt at shooting a video with me rehousing the OBT. As you can see, it's already started because unfortunately after locking the dogs and the kids outside, my son let the dogs and the kids in, so we had to stop everything. But uh, I've already got it partway cupped. Hopefully this will go smoothly. A little bit frustrating because I had her going, but... Um, I got this one as a half inch sling from Jamie's in October 2013. She's been very slow growing OBT. I know a lot of people report that theirs grow fast. I wonder if it's because my temperatures are usually in the 70s or so. I've heard that people that have OBTs that grow very quickly are usually keeping them closer to 80. So I've already got her partially cupped. She's actually behaving herself quite well now. Now I gotta figure out how to get her out of here. So this could be fun. Dogs go nuts outside. Oh, was that spoon? reach and grab that piece of cardboard and slide it right behind where the spoon is right in here and then move the spoon out here and slide the cardboard in ready oh, I'm gonna push too hard mm -hmm. it's sadly exactly how I got her out the last time we did it you go back, maybe I'll connect it to the end of this one. The last time I got her out, she was stuck to a piece of cork bark. All right, I'm not gonna complain. And there she is. Attempt fate here, try to grab this. There she is. Oh my God, I love that animal. This is one of my favorite species. I have a thing for the color orange. So when I first saw this one, when I was first getting heavy into the hobby, I really wanted one, got one um, pretty early on in my career uh, with the tarantulas, but uh, it's she was stayed so small for so long, it really allowed me to kind of grow with her. And she's really been a sweetheart. She's one of the more docile OBTs I've ever seen. I mean, I had a male before that was a lot nastier. I'll go ahead and grab this from Billy, give her hand a rest a minute, and we'll just zoom right in. But there she is, my OBT, definitely a female. Um, I actually was able to get one molt out and sex her, but just a gorgeous species. And as you can see, she's uh, she held that pretty well, considering I just basically uprooted her entire house. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that web expand all through. Let me uh, get out of here. Looking forward to seeing that web expand all through here. She'll web this whole thing up eventually. And this will probably be her final enclosure because uh, she's, she'll end up being about five inches or so. So there she is, OBT. Um, again, just a note for people who are looking to keep these guys. They are normally very, I mean, she can move fast. There's a video up there of her almost getting me when I was trying to feed her once. So um, they can be very fast. And normally they are not this docile or laid back. She was a little uh, scared there, kind of cuddled up and tried to just ride the uh, web in. But they can be a lot meaner than this. So I don't want to give people the wrong idea. Like, oh, look at they're all tame. The majority of them are pretty nasty, but she's always been pretty good. And prolific Webers kept very, very dry. I don't have any, add any water to it. I will put a water dish in it, but they're infamous for webbing over the water dishes. So not a big deal, but there she is. My P. Murinus or OBT.